These steps are time-wise highly compressed. Take your time and repeat each one of these steps for as long as it takes for your dog to get about 80 to 90 percent reliability. Don't rush it, especially in teaching your dog exactly what the clicker means. here 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 now we've moved outside you will also notice that I am not using a clicker, but I'm using the word click instead. The word schade marks a mistake that she made. She didn't touch my hand. I immediately have her touch first the one hand and then the other, and then repeat the exercise at a smaller distance. Now I've taken off her leash and I am gradually increasing the distance of the recall. Each of the previous steps, of course, should be completed with an 85 to 90 percent success ratio before going on to the next step. In other words, take your time and make sure that your dog really understands what is um, expected of him or her. Another important aspect of the training is to gradually first reduce the quality of your re rewards. For example, going from the highest quality reward, um, maybe meat, going down to dog biscuits or whatever towards the end without decreasing the frequency of the rewards. With time, with most other uh, training behaviors, you will also want to decrease the frequency of the rewards. I'm of the opinion that a recall should almost always be rewarded with some kind of treat or play or something of that matter. One of the tricks is to never give the command unless the dog has a good chance of successfully fulfilling it. In other words, if you don't have your dog's attention for whatever reason, first do what's necessary to get the dog to look at you, and then give your hand signal. Vela! At this point it's not necessary to give a vocal cue such as come or here. 
or even as I would use a uh, double whistle blast. But you can start coupling that at this point. Sometimes it helps to have a secret weapon. Uh, Vela loves to eat, but she also likes to fetch. Let's see what happens. Come. Looks a little bit uh, faster, huh? Wait. Ishquit. Yeah, bring. Bring. Keep. Vela, bring come. Vela. Schade. Shada is one of those commands that says, oh, you didn't do it, now I'm not going to have anything more to do with you, unless we try it again. Vela, bring, bring, and gib. Come. Bravi. Water. Water. Good. Bring. Gib. Bravi. So, that is the process that you Proofing. Do not try the following unless you are 100% sure of the reliability of your dog's recall and also know the environment in which you are doing this. This street is not a very heavily trafficked street and I'm doing it on a Sunday morning and keeping an eye out for cars. A between the legs recall is not just um, showing off. I use this in a lot when we're walking on um, trails and I see a bike rider coming. I recall her around me to, from behind in between my uh, legs and the bike rider has a sense of security that the dog is under control and is not going to jump after him or her. You'll notice I'm not using any vocal commands at all. So, Veda, when you finish, Mm, 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 mm. Oh, yeah. Long night, huh? Long night.